Good day, trader. So we're not going to go through the entire watch list today. I was thinking of just going through a couple of stocks and uh, the main index to see what's lining up. I also want to go through the portfolio on last quarter, uh, how the portfolio is doing at the moment, and also something that's coming up very soon. Okay, so we start off with the Almi, which is, or the Aussie, depending on which one you trade. It's the same, um, same index, just a different instrument. It's just I know you trade the Almi, and uh, purely because the uh, to manage your risk, it's it's a lot easier depending on what portfolio you have. Remember the two percent rule, so you can follow it with um, with something like the Almi. Now, what's important is that the Almi has been moving in a sideways trend, but it's also bouncing up and down on this down, um, almost like a channel, and it looks like it's going to be coming down for the next couple of days. So I'm quite wary about uh, the longs in the market and since then we've uh, made our risk a lot smaller in terms of the trades that we're taking so there's not much to risk okay but what's important to know is that in your ARI trade remember ARI there was this beautiful cup and handle forming broke out of this downside uh, trend line you can see here it broke out and that's where we got in and then I told you yesterday to raise your stop loss to 95 around 40, which uh, it hit today. So you should be out for around 33% gain. Um, it, it, it's a good trade. It can hit the take profit, but remember that channel with the Aussie, I'm quite wary about, and I need to take all of these things into consideration. Okay. Then we have Kumba, which is a trade I just sent out now recently. Uh, and was also forming this beautiful cup and handle. And it's a low risk trade purely because we got in at, uh, well, we're not in yet. All right, let's get one thing straight. We, we're not in yet. The entry is at 132 and 65. And even though it's 134 and 37, I do expect the market to pull back to get us into a conservative level. And then I've placed the stop loss at 122.80 around this level where the handle is and the take profit at 152.35. So we'll be holding it. And the, one of the main reasons that uh, I got in is not only to hedge the short that we're in, but also because it's broken out of this almost like a, um, a downside channel or, or a trend line. It's broken out and it's showing that there is uh, demand kicking into the market. So we could expect it to test this level, which is where we'll get in and then we'll hopefully ride it to the take profit level. But make sure you keep your risk levels the same in terms of the risk management. You make sure you don't um, risk more than 2% of your portfolio because you never know if we have a string of losers um, or if we have a string of winners. Either way, we'll always follow the 2% rule. Okay, so that's Kumba. Uh, Ari, we've already explained. Then we have Talcom, which is a short that uh, I wanted to hedge you know, with the market that's, um, um, that's showing downside to come. I thought, let's try and grab the best short. Um, we set our stop loss pretty much where this resistance level is, okay? And at the moment, it is still around our entry level, but no problem. It's still in the downside trend and it's not showing any signs of bullishness. Even though you see a green candle, this is very normal in markets and um, we can expect some downside to come, okay? So I'm, I'm happy with this trade still, no, no quims about that. Then we've got ShopRite, which is another stock that I'm looking at to trade purely because there is a W formation forming, all right, at around 199 Rand. Yeah, 199 is where we'll possibly get in. You can see it's forming a low, another low, uh, you cannot consider this a cup and handle purely because between the, the high and the low is more than 50% of the formation or the, the bottom. So once it breaks out, this is where we'll get in. Uh, and this is a pure example of um, the market is lower than where we want to get in. And it goes against the, you know, it's a contrarian approach because most people buy low, sell high. And uh, I get a lot of traders saying, Tim, why don't you just buy here? The answer is because we don't know if it's going to break out or not, or if it's going to continue down. So as soon as it breaks out, then that could be a trade that we could send away. So that's all I'm really looking at um, at the moment. Now, I just wanted to show you something. This is the portfolio that um, 
that I put into the levels where we get in. Famous brands, Woolworths, Exara, African Rainbow. So last quarter it was a 50-50 month, which is a uh, quarter, sorry, 50-50 quarter. But we ended up um, in the positive, which is not bad. All right. And at the moment we are, well, we've closed African Rainbow because it hits its uh, profit stop or the race stop loss. So we got out at 33. So that's that's looking very good. And I'm quite happy with the trades that we're in. I see a lot of trades lining up in the next couple of weeks. Um, they're not they're not perfect yet. So I'm just waiting for that um, that signal. But looking at this portfolio there, you know, I, I don't see anything really horrible about this, uh, even though it was a 50 50 win rate. The thing is that I'm going to be sending a lot more trades and I'm going to show you how we can make profits with a even a lower win rate if that's the case. I can show you how to make profits with a 40% win rate or a 35% win rate. Even though the average is around 62.5% over 13 years, anything can change. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. Next thing I want to show you is something that's coming up. It's called the Advanced Forex Seminar. I know we don't deal with Forex with Red Off Storm Trader, but the strategies are the same and the risk management is the same. And the thing is, there isn't demand for some reason for CFD trading. So uh, this is the best I've got for now. Maybe next year I'll, I'll consider it, but I don't even know if I'm going to do this seminar again. Now, I did uh, the last one in Joburg, 22nd of October. It was on Saturday. It was really fantastic. But now on the 5th of November and 12th of November, it's... Cape Town and Durban's time. It'll be the first time this advanced Forex seminar will take place. And I'm not going to go through this entire thing. You can see in the description below, I'm going to put this link over here that you can click on and read through it. But the most important is the strategies. I'm going to show you these profit strategies, the risk to reward rule, the FIPIP strategy, uh, how you can compound your portfolio um, to, to um, from 30,000 Rand and up. And um, more importantly, how it works in real life. So even though it's Forex, the strategies that I use with Forex Trader and Red Hot Storm Trader are identical. Like at the end of the day, it's just about looking at a chart, seeing if the, the rules and, and, and those things are lining up and uh, getting into it. So if you are interested, um, because I know that, you know, tickets are, are selling very quickly and I thought, let me just uh, offer you this opportunity uh, to, specifically to Red Hot Storm Traders. Um, if you'd like to join, but it's in Cape Town and Durban only. Joburg will maybe do some next year, I'm not sure, but mainly Cape Town and Durban. I know there's a lot of guys that are always sending me emails saying, when are you coming to Cape Town and Durban? Well, this is the opportunity and possibly the last opportunity. So thank you very much for, um, for taking your time to just listen to what I have to say today. Clearly, there are trades lining up on the long and short side so I'll, I'll make sure that we'll hedge our, our bets with the with these trades but more importantly keep an eye on the Olmi and the channel that it's forming we need it to break below or above to make sure that we grab all those high probability trades when it breaks out because it'll be fast and aggressive and it'll be very profitable for all of us so have a wonderful week and we'll chat next week